Don't Like Koala. Words by Sean Farrell. Pictures by Charles Santoso. Cassie did not like Koala. She was scared to lie for Cassie everywhere she goes. Koala is the most terrible, terrible. Cassie tries to explain to her parents. I don't like Koala. But they don't understand. Every night when it's time to go to bed, Cassie has the same routine. She takes a bath, she puts on her pajamas, brushes her teeth, and then she tries to get rid of Koala. Here's Koala. <laughs> Cassie puts Koala away. <laughs> away is a lot of different places. But every morning, when Cassie wakes up, Koala is always there. In her bed. On her pillow. Closer than close. I don't like Koala. <clears throat> Father says, Don't play with Koala like that or you'll lose him. I don't like Koala. Mother says, Don't leave Koala behind. You know how you'd miss him. I don't like Koala. <clears throat> After snack time, Father says, You must have loved your snack. You ate every bite. What snack? Asks Cassie. Oh, maybe it was koala. Says father. Cassie is sick and tired of koala. He takes koala on a long, long walk. They climb hills. They walk around rocks. They wander among trees. And when Cassie is certain koala isn't looking, she runs away among trees, around rocks, over hills. All the way home. And there's Koala. That night, as Cassie dresses for bed, she knows there's nothing worse than Koala. Koala is the most terrible, terrible. He has a terrible face and terrible paws, and terrible eyes that follow him everywhere, watching and watching. Watching and watching for <coughs> a more terrible, terrible? Go. Maybe Koala wasn't so terrible after all. Right. Okay. Mm. Cassie makes sure Koala is comfortable. And and Cassie was like, Koala was says, I like Koala. Mm. And Dada says, I don't like Koala. <laughs> but I do not like Koala. And so I say, who? Huh? <laughs> but more like, <laughs> the end.